Here are the headlines from the Friday edition of the Countdown Podcast. How we in L.A. media in the 80s and 90s let O.J. Simpson get away with it. And the story of the day I had to convince the folks at ESPN not to report that O.J. Simpson was, of course, not a suspect in the murder of his wife. Plus, the latest on the Mike Johnson-Donald Trump summit in Florida and the Shohei Otani gambling story in which he was not only the victim of $16 million in embezzlement, but his interpreter built a perfect machine of corruption that nobody could ever penetrate, and also managed to place so many bets that the total value of his winning bets on sports and his losing bets on sports was $325 million. And if all that were not enough, this week's Thurber story is how the founder of the New Yorker magazine had a million and a half dollars in 2024 terms embezzled from him by his assistant so he could gamble it on sporting events. There is nothing new under the sun, but listen to the Friday Countdown podcast anyway, now live wherever you podcast.